Welcome back, children. Today, let's learn lesson eleven: natural resources. Page fifty-four. This is your EVS. What are natural resources? The things provided to us by nature are called natural resources. Nature, kan le lung ina til min pe ka waka. Kanghoka natural resources kanti asuni. We can divide natural resources into two types: renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those natural resources that can never be exhausted or completely finished, such as sunlight, air, water, and soil. Renewable resources kanti zo resources ral thay lau hoka kanghoka. Renewable resources can be to any a non-renewable resources to nature. Ina min pek ve thau masi heng hau hi kan man kan man tiam lau zuan kan ren tiam lau zuan an ral thay ni. Renewable resources. The examples are sunlight, air, water, and soil. Energy we get from the sun is called solar energy. Plants make food only in the presence of sunlight. <coughs> Number two, air. Moving air is called wind. Wind exert for force and energy. Wind here and in force the energy and here to me mang tuan electricity the po ka i windmill mang kanin a in siam te yani. Water. No life is possible without water. With the help of water, we can generate hydroelectricity as well. Electric ki windmill mang in wind mang kanin na siam te ya. Water mang pun electric ki. Asiam tayani. Three fourths of our earth is made up of water in the form of rivers, lakes, ponds, seas, and oceans. Kovil gan omnahi. Mun liya chenta ila. Mun liya gan chenswanin. Mun tum aka. Dui anya abak mun kat labang aka. Land. Ani lay lungahi. Anita abak three four taka water ni soil when the topmost layer of the soil is not protected and blown away by strong winds or rain it is called soil erosion. In order to prevent soil erosion, we must plant trees and we must not cut them down. Non renewable resources. We have already said the resources. That cannot be reproduced easily. Run in Siam Le. Also, taka run in Siam Le. May thay lau hau ka katyang ka non renewable resources kan ti ito ni. Example like coal, petroleum, mineral, and forests are very limited and could be exhausted, and they are called the non renewable resources. Forests, mineral fuels, and minerals, and metals. Uses of forests. What are the uses of forests? Forests provides us. With wood, they provide food and shelter for animals. They protect the soil. They help in maintaining the water cycle. Forests also help in preventing soil erosion. Fossil fuel. What are the fossil fuel? A fossil fuel is a fuel formed by the remains of dead plants and animals after a thousand years. It takes thousand of years to form a fossil fuel. Petrol, kanti te coal, oil, natural gas, kanti hao zong zong ka. Mishing ina man te ya aron in siyam tswa le na tu chan kum sang tswang anga e ni. They are very valuable and we must preserve them. What are the difference between mineral and ore? What is mineral? Naturally occurring substances of metals present in the earth's crust are called minerals. What are ores? Minerals which can use to obtain the metal profitably are called ores. 
all minerals are not ores, but all ores are essentially minerals too. Mineral zong zong hi ore ni lo ma se ore zong zong hi mineral ni atan tu ore hi mineral sa changa lak tswa. A lu zwa lho lak tswa a ka 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 ore kan ti a zwa ni. De lu nga lo om topa ka mineral ni ta. Mineral chang hi anin ore ka kan la tswa kli tswa nga ni. Lut na tam tak mi sing ta na ni he vangin. Conservation of natural resources. How are we going to conserve them? We should use water wisely and should not throw it uselessly. We must avoid cutting off trees. Recycling of materials should be promoted. We should use our fossil fuels carefully. In this way, we can conserve the natural resources. Ways of saving our resources. Food. Water and fuel. The, user, the ways of savings are there in your textbook, page 60. We should should not take too much food in our plate it goes waste if we cannot eat all of it we should keep our food always covered because contaminated food will cause different kinds of diseases in humans how are we going to save water do not keep the tap running in your house use bucket while bathing water left after washing food items like dal and vegetables can be used for watering plants. Fuel. Soak pulses and rice before cooking because it takes less time to be cooked. So it is very important to soak pulses and rice. So, the pulses can be used for watering plants. 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 Kan may mantu raka na satak nin atikyam tayo ni. Electricity. How are we going to save electric? Switch off unnecessary lights, electric devices such as fans, coolers, room heaters, air conditioners, etc. should be switched off when not in use. Those are the things that we need to know from Natural Resources Lesson 11. Next follows your assignment. Number one, answer the following questions. Your homework will be A, B, C, D, and G. E and F, exclude T and F. E and F is not your homework. Your homework are A, B, C, D, and G. What are fossil fuels? What are natural resources? Only up to this. You do not need to answer why is it needed to preserve them. You do not, you do not need to answer this one. Only answer what are natural resources. And next, number C, what are mineral ores? Uh, what are minerals? What are ores? In number C, when you are going to answer it, what are minerals? Tihi in ziak masapota nga. Zonin, minerals definition in zia zua kanin. A next line na, what are or si in zia kang zia zom lao tu. Minerals definition in zia zua. A next line na, what are or si answer hi in zia kang. Number D, how are forests useful to us? Number G, write two ways to save electricity at your home. These are your homework. And number two, fill in the blanks. H, G, you have to do it. All the answers are given there inside the box. Force, solar, recycle, to win, three-fold energy, off, socking. All these words you have to use to fill up the blanks. And next, uh, on the next page, page 62, match the following columns. Sun. Sun will go along with solar energy. You have to match sun and solar energy. Like that, you can continue till uh, number 5, alluvial soil. Wind is paragliding. Paragliding. I hope you know paragliding. Hey, parachute mga tang sang taka jang tia parachute mga hey tia antho tako himo that using wind energy that is called paragliding. Number 3, dam. Dam is hydroelectricity. Dam mang kanin electric kan siam swag tayo zu electric dam mga kan siam swag zu we call it hydroelectricity. Number four soil. Soil will be dead plants. Dead plants and animals how ka soil la kan pum chinta and that will make the soil rich and will form manure. 
Number five, alluvial soil. We find we found alluvial soil in the in northern India. Those are the exercises which you need to do. Answer the following questions. Write it in your notebook. Write a third entry before you started writing the notes. First, write third entry in one page, and on the next page. You will start writing lesson 11, natural resources. Write the day and the date, the question and answers. And number two and three, exercise number two and three, fill in the blanks and match the following. You will do it in your textbook. Answer the following questions. You have to write it in your notebook. Remember, before you write in your notebook, leave uh, one page and write third and three. Then on the next page, you will write Lesson 11, Natural Resources, the day, the date, homework, answer the following questions and you can start writing it. I hope you understand how you should do your homework. Thank you.